And tonight, BBC Sky Night magazine is here in Greenwich in London. Behind me at the National Maritime Museum, they're getting ready to announce the winners of the Insight Investment Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards 2019. For the last 11 years, the competition has aimed to celebrate the union of art and science by encouraging photographers to turn their cameras upwards to the cosmos around us. Subjects include lovely pictures of the aurora over snow-capped hills, right the way to the outskirts of our galaxy and even beyond. This year, there were over 4,600 entries from over 90 countries, so the judges really had their work cut out for them trying to pick a winner. We caught up with some of the judges and some of the winners to see what they made of this year's competition. I think what really drew me into specific images this year, for me personally, um, is kind of about movement. It's something that looks really dynamic, and there was a lot of that this year. There were some really incredible things that, that I had to take a second, third look at before I could really figure out what was going on. For the first time on the panel, um, it was a surprise. You know, I was totally blown away by the quality of the images that we looked at. Sometimes it was like splitting hairs to decide which was going to be the winning one. It was so, so difficult. Yeah, so I was totally blown away by the fact that it's not only the uh, technical knowledge that they had, but also their artistic interpretation and their scientific interpretation. So we had all three in the images and, and it was just incredible. Now the great thing about astrophotography is it is nowhere near as challenging to get started as people tend to think and you do not need to be technically minded at all. I think you just have to have a lot of passion for it because a lot of astrophotography is about perseverance, it's about patience and that's where passion gets you through and if you persevere, if you're patient, if you're careful and you pay careful attention to your method of how you express your image data, you I think can get a fantastic result. I came into this from a picture editor's point of view and the thing that picture editors are looking for often is a story and one or two of the pictures had uh, people standing on hills with fantastic uh, views of the night sky and in one there was accompanied by a dog that went out every night and I liked the story that this fellow went out every night to take pictures of the night sky accompanied by his dog. I just thought it was a lovely story. Technically it wasn't too much of a difficult shot. Uh, I was already there to capture a similar sort of shot, but the, the difficulty was in keeping a collie still for, for long enough to capture it without blurring. So, you know, I had a remote control in my hand, I had a camera on a tripod, I had the dog's head in my other hand, and I'm whispering, don't move, don't move, don't move. And then out of about 30 separate photographs, there was one where we, uh, we were still. What draws me to astrophotography is definitely the artistic side, the editing, the different colour palettes. I, I just love seeing what you can't see with the naked eye and making it look just ten times more colourful. So number one bit of advice for any budding imager, um, yeah, think of a story for your picture. Um, so I didn't think this was my technically best image but it had by far the best story to it. And so I think that's probably why it has done well. The winning image was breathtaking for many reasons. Um, it was a fantastic composite of the eclipse. The colours were very rich, but the thing, the tiny thing that stood out for me was that there was a tiny bit of a blue in the top of the image as the, the eclipse sort of moves through the stages and that was showing the ozone layer and normally you don't notice that, you don't notice it visually when you're up there looking at it. I've never seen it before, it hadn't occurred to me that this would be something that you could see and the whole um, image of that with that tiny little bit of blue so you've got that fantastic bit of science absolutely a fantastic image from that point of view i can describe how i feel now because it, it is it is a kind of end for me and a new beginning of something else so i i, I feel now that i have to change my ways from from the moon direction from the route of capturing the moon into another direction, maybe get, go to the south hemisphere and taking images from the southern sky. It's, it's now, it's my new plan. Do something absolutely different. 
。等到月亮升起来的时候，我利用沙漠后面的月光，在沙丘上打出了阴影，和后面的星轨，完成了一张照片。Um, when the moon rises up, I use the shadow of the moon、um, together with the dunes、uh, to form the image of my picture. That's it for another year here at the Insight Investment Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. If you want to see the winners for yourself, they'll be on display here at the National Maritime Museum until the 26th of April 2020. But if you want to be in the exhibition next year, you have to enter. The competition is open to everybody, whether you're an astrophotographer with decades of experience or you've just picked up a camera for the first time this year. The only way to win, though, is to get out there, take pictures of the night sky, and enter them. And hopefully, we'll see you here on the wall next year.